An important piece gets overlooked sometimes. Again, it's shown on the organic acid test, shows your glutathione status, and the vast majority of mold affected patients are struggling to make glutathione and they're running out of glutathione. So just supplementing that with the liposomal glutathione can help can be highly reactive, so you might have to start low, you might not tolerate it at all. And N-acetylcysteine or NAC can help as well, but there's a little bit of evidence to show that NAC doesn't actually get converted down into glutathione that well with mycotoxins on board. And that's the GCL enzyme, glutamate cysteine ligase. It's inhibited, again, when mycotoxins are in the body. So everyone's loading up on NAC, thinking it's gonna make glutathione as a nice, cheap, and effective way to do it. And with mycotoxins and mold exposure, it might not be as effective.